This video approaches the idea of PKAs. In order to familiarize yourself with this concept, you'll want to be knowledgeable about what an acid is, what a base is, um, what a pH is, and most definitely what a Ka is, and generally um, equilibrium constants, and also log functions. So a PKA is equal to the negative log of the Ka. And if you recall, the Ka is your acid dissociation constant for the equilibrium dissociation of an acid. It's similar to the same idea that we had with pH. The pK is just um, a, way, a new way of looking at the same number, but Ka's often are really, really small, so taking the log of them puts them into a form where we can work with whole numbers, or not whole numbers, but we can work with numbers that are usually between 0 and 10, which is often more accessible. So similar idea to pH. What's different here is that if you recall Ka's, um, if you had a large Ka, that equaled a strong acid. But because you're taking the log of the Ka, when you have, when we're talking about the pKa's, it turns out that a small pKa will equal a strong acid. So they're kind of the opposite of one another. What is the pKa of an acid with a Ka of 4.5 times 10 to the negative fourth? Well, we know that pKa equals the negative log of the Ka. So I'm given the Ka in the problem. It's 4.5 times 10 to the negative fourth. So I'll take the negative log of 4.5 times 10 to the negative fourth. And my pKa then is equal to 3.3. There are special significant figure rules for log functions, but I am choosing to ignore them <laughs> because for an introductory level chemistry class, uh, we just don't focus on them. If an acid has a pKa of 4.23 and the second acid has a pKa of 3.50, which acid is stronger? So we want to remember that small key K, sorry, small pKa's give us strong acids. So we would look at the two pKa's here and see that 3.50 is less than 4.23. So the acid with the 3.50 pKa is the stronger acid. That one. You might also be asked a question in which you're given the pKa and asked to solve for the Ka. In that case, we want to remember our log functions. And uh, since a pKa is equal to the negative log of a Ka, we can make everything, oh, sorry, let me move my negative over here for a minute, make everything base 10. And when we do that, 10 raised to the log of something always becomes that something. So we essentially get rid of the log function. And on the other side, we have 10 to the raised to the power of the pKa. So now I just plug in my 6.3 and plug it into my calculator. And we get that the Ka equals 5.0 times 10 to the negative 7. There are actually units on Ka. In this video, I am focused on the pKa, so we'll talk about those in a different